Hello and welcome to the in-new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today, we are going to talk about the right to life versus right to employment. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains papers. Let's begin with the topics of discussion that we are going to look at step by step. We will start with the news and then we will cover everything in brief. Let's talk about the news first. Now, the Supreme Court in its judgment has upheld the 2017 and 18 ban on firecrackers. It has said the right to life is, of course, much more important than the right to employment. So this is all that we are going to discuss. So let's move forward and talk about the background. Back in 2017, due to poor air quality index, the Supreme Court banned the use of firecrackers in 2017. In 2018, there was a ban on firecrackers but a green light to the green firecrackers. Air quality index, it talks and analyzes the day-to-day -day ambient air quality of any region, especially in eight major pollutants. They are carbon monoxide, ground level ozone, particulate matter 2.5 and particulate matter 10. Also nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide and lead and ammonia. So you can write all this down and these are the eight major pollutants that the seven and one I said ammonium. These are the eight major pollutants that the air quality index tracks and the Supreme Court after that banned the sale and use of toxic crackers during the celebration of Diwali and Christmas on the basis of a petition which was filed by infants under the premise of that it is a threat to their life under article 21 and they said that during the festival of Diwali especially because of the burning of firecrackers and the generic nature of air quality in Delhi, Delhi has become a gas chamber. Also, the court dismissed arguments that bursting crackers was a fundamental right as well as an integral component of Diwali and said that article 25 that is right to religion is subject to the right to life and liberty. That means this is article 25 versus article 21. So the Supreme Court said that if any religious practice is threatening the health of the citizens, right to life and liberty will be upheld. And the NGT order in 2020 gave a green light to green firecrackers, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, there was also a ban on the firecrackers as a whole. Then if we talk about green crackers, what are these? Green crackers are being developed by Niri. That is National Environmental and Engineering Research Institution. That is a CSIR lab. CSIR lab. Okay. And this is available in the form of just similarly like the conventional firecrackers, but they are less polluting in nature. Moving forward, and right to business, which is under Article 19, Clause 1, Sub Clause G, is not at all absolute. If it violates the right of life and liberty and increases the noise level norms, actually violates the noise level norms and increases air pollution. So now air pollution because of the presence of cadmium, lead, chromium, aluminium, magnesium, nitrates and carbon monoxide, copper, potassium, sodium, 
zinc oxide and manganese dioxide so because of the presence of these many heavy metals and toxic elements it is responsible for increasing the increasing the quality of the air ambient air quality in the delhi region and pan india if we talk about the election processions and celebrating election victories diwali and christmas of course these are the certain events where firecrackers are used a lot and it has been taken into cognizance by the supreme court moving forward air pollution which can give rise to many hazardous threats to human kind such as the diseases of the lung cardiovascular disease noise pollution can also lead to high blood pressure hearing loss and poor cognitive development in children so as you can see firecrackers are dangerous to human health moving on this is a graph this is a table which is going to show us what is the impact before and after the banning of firecrackers in 2017 there was no firecracker ban in place and in 2016 as well so on diwali day the quality of air was very harmful in 2015 and hazardous the next year and day after very harmful and hazardous again there was no firecracker ban then in 2017 there was a ban on the sale of firecrackers and only green crackers were allowed in 2018 so even if there were there was a ban still they these rules were flouted these rules were not abided by so again you can see very harmful with a very less impact if we compare to the last two years and again day after the same when we talk about 2018 the quality did improve from very harmful to poor and the next day still you can see there was a rise why because many firecrackers were because of hoax they were the conventional fireworks but they were being sold under the false name of green firecrackers in 2019 again only green crackers were allowed and 2020 complete ban was there so you can see still here we see hazardous and here also is hazardous why the rules are either flouted and violation sad in place or there is some other reason as well such as the crop residue burning the stubble burning in the season that coincides with the celebration of diwali that also causes a lot of pollution in the delhi ncr region as the farmers they burn the stubble near the region of delhi ncr in haryana punjab western uttar pradesh and because of the presence of still air the smoke collects in a restricted place for a restricted period of time that can also be a reason so the supreme court in this year itself it upheld the complete ban of firecrackers during covid-19 pandemic because this was a lung disease and lungs were already so much infected by covid-19 virus by the covid-19 virus and in order to prevent harming further of the lungs this judgment was there now the judgment right now is that under the guise of right to employment we cannot allow a few to play with the lives of citizens when hearing the clutch of petitions of manufacturers of firecrackers when they pleaded that so many people are dependent on the firecracker industry we need to remove the ban of on firecrackers this is what the supreme court said and they also said that we have to strike a balance it's not that one article can be having an upper hand over the other they understand this the supreme court understand this understands this and they said that we need to strike a balance between the right to employment and the right of right to life of citizens but here the prime focus is to protect the right to life of innocent citizens who suffer due to the use of firecrackers and the representative of the manufacturers the petitioner nandakarni 
he was asked that still how are the ladies the ladies are still being sold and as observed by the supreme court during the election results and election processions so the representative said that people are buying small firecrackers and joining them together and they are coming with novel and other ways in order to dodge the judgment of the supreme court the ban on firecrackers and the manufacturers of course they are as i already discussed they have petitioned under this only that no ban should be there on fire on the firecracker industry but the supreme court has said that there should be someone made responsible and then only accountability can be put into practice the supreme court has also said that the police commissioner should be made in charge of the judgment the implementation of the judgment the kolkata high court has already put in charge the dm of the district okay let's move forward and talk about the right to life and right to employment right to life comes under article 21 in two different ways first is right to life and second is right to liberty and this is this is the one and only article that has a wide interpretation wide connotation and according to justice bhagwati article 21 embodies a constitutional value of supreme importance in a democratic society write it down you can use this as a phrase and as a quote in any one of your essays and according to supreme court itself the article 21 it called it the heart of the constitution it is present as a fundamental right in part 3 okay be very careful the heart and soul of the constitution is article 32 according to b r ambedkar and the supreme court has called article 21 the heart of the constitution okay the right to life and right to personal liberty this cannot be suspended during emergency and it is available to both citizens and non citizens all right and two important cases that we are going to talk about here are the first one is ak gopalan versus the state of madras 1951 in this case the supreme court took a restricted interpretation of article 21 it said that an individual can be saved from ex- executive excesses but not legislative excesses that means article 21 can be smashed by any law but this was overruled in the menika gandhi versus union of india in 1978 now here the supreme court said that no only the then the article 21 can be suppressed when a law of which is just in nature which is reasonable and appropriate in nature then only the law can supersede or suppress article 21 and it also said that not only right to life should be premised on a person just an animal sort of life it should be made that a life is worth living so that is why it has a huge amount of connotations so many things are there under article uh, 21 such as right to clean environment right to clean sanitation right to privacy right to sleep right to be silent many okay let's move forward and talk about right to life which is under article 19 clause 1 sub clause g according to the indian constitution it's also a fundamental right and according to 1986 union declaration on human rights the right to development is an inalienable human right that means it cannot be removed from the basic nature of humans to be employed and develop by the virtue of which every human person and all peoples are entitled to participate in contribute to and enjoy economic social cultural political development in which all human rights and fundamental freedoms can be fully realized basically if a person has to develop 
fully not only physically but also economically socially politically he or she has to be employed so that in terms of salary he can have economic development in terms of paying of taxes he can give and contribute to social development in order to become politically enthused he should be integrated into the political structure that can only be done through employment so that is also something that we need to understand but here the supreme court judgment said that the primary focus is on right to life any person suppose i am a person and i am smuggling drugs this is my employment but it is causing harm to the persons who are consuming it and hence it is causing problems to the social life economic life and everything of that person then of course any harmful activity which is injurious to article 21 it will be suppressed let's move forward and talk about the challenges first we need to understand that crackers should be made intrinsically and definitely green in nature so that the industry that is dependent on fire crackers can have an employment which is socially acceptable and socially advantageous as well as not harmful first is that and we need to strike a balance putting a complete ban until and unless a sustainable substitute is available for employment to them is something that is not not a very conducive procedure in a polity like india so striking of balance that is also needed moving forward let's talk about the way forward technological innovation in terms of providing proper substitutes of the conventional fireworks more incentives should be provided to new startups when we talk about technology and fireworks for diwali christmas and many other occasions again striking a balance is very important i am reiterating it as a challenge as well as a way forward because it is challenge it is a challenge and it is a way forward strike a balance in the sense providing them a better economic opportunity providing them an opportunity in the similar sector with better substitutes of conventional fire crackers or providing the entire scenario is such that it is very hard to strike a balance right now so the government should come with some kind of incentive some kind of substitute some kind of employment procedures okay let's move towards and talk about the question for means analyze in detail the importance of article 21 with respect to other fundamental rights in 250 words so that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching